Well, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming out today. We have a great opportunity to not only um, celebrate the birth of our founder, Albert S. White, today is his birthday, but we also get to dedicate some signs in his behalf. He was the president of the Indianapolis and Lafayette Railroads, and their motto was elegant equipment and superior service. So that is something that is pretty remarkable. He was an honorable man. He was the honorable Albert S. White because he was also a judge. He was a senator and he served our country in many, many ways. For many who have always thought that Whitestown had a different connotation, you should know that Albert S. White was an abolitionist of the first degree. He wrote the Emancipation Act that, this, that the House and the Congress did not ultimately adopt, but was part of Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. He was on the train when Lincoln came through on his inauguration. I think Tanya had the best thing. She said this to me today. Our heartbeat is our history. And it all started with Albert S. White. Happily, we are here today to dedicate markers that celebrate achievement. Both markers connect to the Lafayette and Indianapolis Railroad, which opened in Boone County in 1852. And the importance of the railroad in those early years is difficult to overstate. Now, I hope that visitors to this trail, when they pass these markers, will reflect not just on the surface level information imparted on the sign, such as Albert White's connection to the naming of Whitestown or the fact the trail itself is on the right of way of the old railroad. But I hope they will also reflect on these signs' profound implications, that the actions of a man in Lafayette could have long-lasting impact on a community here in Boone County. So when you pass a historical marker, ask yourself, what actions are we taking today that in 100 years will be worth marking? Well, I'm so very proud, not just because he was a historic figure, but he was a part of our, a very important part of our family, and, and he sort of set the model for public service reaching out to people across the aisle. And I think what's really neat is that our family has always been people who do something because it's right, not because it's popular and not because it's easy. And I certainly now see that he's done that. I've seen my grandparents do that, my father do that, and now I hope that I'm also doing that. I guess I've got some big shoes to fill now. <laughs> we want to introduce Aaron Quigley, our mural designer and painter, the mural itself, I think it truly represents what brought us all here, what has kept us here, what keeps us here with our trail. And everyone, please give Erin a round of applause. I'm just proud to be a piece of the history here and as a local artist, and I'm honored that I got to do it. I was adopted as an infant by the Mintoner family and as the great, great, great grandchild of Albert S. White, it kind of makes sense to me now why his great, great grandson would, in the early 70s, adopt cross racial, racial lines. I'm half black, half white. And the fact that my great, great grandfather, great, great, great grandfather was an abolitionist. And it just now, the universe kind of seems a little bit more clear to me. I think that he would be very humble. Proud. I, I think that he would be very distinguished, honored, and humble. Let's give a hand to Whitestown. Hooray for Whitestown.